Another day, another missed deadline, and another new deadline in the Iran nuclear talks. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen reports tonight from Vienna, Austria, on what's taking so long. With the Russian, Chinese, and British foreign ministers gone, Secretary of State John Kerry and Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif hunkered down, working under a new deadline of Friday, July 10th. Or maybe not. U.S. officials said they expect to know whether a deal is in the offing in the near term, but wouldn't rule out further extensions. There's no specific reason for why the 10th was chosen other than that's when uh, uh, the ministers together decided that it was that that, that was a good date to put out there. The Iranians so far have not yet been able to uh, sign on the dotted line uh, on a final agreement that reflects the broad parameters that were established back in April. Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, a Republican candidate for president, scoffed at the extension and called for an end to, quote, the charade. Because ultimately, I'm convinced that John Kerry and Barack Obama want a deal worse than the Ayatollah in Iran does. And as a result, it puts us in a very tenuous and disadvantaged uh, negotiating posture. Critics of the talks charge that after the first 10 years of a final deal, Iran will be able to ramp up its centrifuge installation. A U.S. official shot back that Iran's glide path in year 11 is limited by technology. You can only go so far so fast, the official said, and given the parameters that were agreed to in Lausanne, that puts on some immediate parameters to what is accomplishable after the first 10 years of this agreement. I think the deal is effectively done because I think the U.S. has already made most of the major concessions. The Iranians are trying to squeeze out some last-minute concessions, but this sort of looking tough, acting tough, are last-minute theatrics for, for domestic audiences. So the President Obama can say he hung tough for the best deal. U.S. officials also spelled out their plans to revise existing U.N. Security Council resolutions that deal with Iran's ballistic missile stockpile. But in doing so, a top aide to President Obama told reporters here that Iran does have a right to have have conventional missiles. Brett? James Rosen traveling with Secretary Kerry in Vienna. James, thanks.